What is up guys, the Lonely Savage here, playing some League of Legends on the public beta environment, PBE. Um, the new champion Aatrox is out, and I am playing as the Justicar Aatrox skin. Um, oh, sorry about that, my mouse is not cooperating with me at all. Okay, well, to describe Aatrox, I'd like to call him the Anti-Kale. His, his skills um, and range and look is basically like Kale, but dark and... Less magic attack and splash damage, but more uh, bloodthirster type. What was, what, what did I say? Bloodthirst? Yeah, I read that. Okay. Um, it's just like I know. a lifesteal Kale with uh, bruiser potential, while Kale's more of a protect support type carry. Um, Doran's Blade. If you play as him, you're gonna want to go Doran's Blade. If you if you want a uh, nice passive start, because he has a lot of sustain, you won't really need pots, and this is a decent sustain with the five per hit. Um, or if you want to go aggressive, you can go uh, long sword into uh, two red pots, or uh, ninja tabby and get the cloth armor and five red pot, or just boots and three pot. Um, boots are cheaper now. Minions have spawned. You don't know that. Um, I'm just gonna start with this because I'm not gonna get bothered getting Doran's blade. So, so <coughs> who needs pots? Your Aatrox. Um, when you place Aatrox, if you're laning, and and if you're in the jungle, you're probably gonna want either. Um, if you're laning, you might want to get Blades of Torment first. It's uh, long range. Um, you shoot out this little, like, two little spikes that go converge into one position. Um, here's what it looks like. That's basically, it's, a uh, you cast it in a direction. It does okay My amount of damage. Um, if you're in the jungle, you definitely want to start Bloodthirst because of the crazy, um, heal that it gives you. It either does damage on the third hit, or it heals you. Peace is the if it does damage, it takes, uh, an amount of your health. So, one hit. <coughs> See if I can get them to hit me at least once. Hit me. I'll show you the heal. They will really? You as heroes. Here we'll. That's the third hit. So it's really powerful at level one. You can switch between them. Go back to the lifesteal. One, two. Yes, that was the third one. Hits 25 health back. It's pretty, pretty Victory good sustain. Is forever. So you can definitely outlane your enemies if you can get um good harass on them. This is just bots. Sorry, I'm not playing normal game. I just got under the PPE, decided to check them out. Didn't feel like playing in a normal game. Okay. Well, not a, not very entertaining, I guess. But uh, you can see his kit. You can see his skin. So uh, what you want to try and do is you want to kind of um if you're full health. You see the proc down there at the bottom, you can switch to your W, and you can get some nice harass off on somebody. Or you can use the last hit minions with uh, ease. If you're dueling though, if you like get on a one in one engagement, you definitely want to stay lifesteal. Um, you can get Dark Flight at level 3 or 4, it's your escape, you can use it to smash into the ground. Surpass the frailty of your form. But if they're just running, and you want to hit them, Definitely go for the, uh, if they're not, like, trading with you, definitely go for this. Oh, shoot. It also slows them, too. That's why it's a good jungle tool. Really gay for, great for ganks, I guess. Yeah. Also a knock-up, too. Oh, shoot. Men. <laughs> yeah, so if you're below 50% health, it heals you for a lot more. 77 there, so look at the sustain that he has is pretty great. What do I have ignite for? I mean, seriously. <laughs> I need to chase him down like that. Only bots. Um, so yeah, you either want to level up your... Uh, what I usually do is I go W to, uh, especially in the jungle, I go W first. Is the greatest um, max, just because of the sustain it gives you. If you're in lane, you can either max uh, Dark Flight with your W, because your double is really good, uh, or Blades of Torment for um, poke damage and damage for engagements. I usually max Blades of Torments and uh, Dark, Dark Flight at the same time, excuse me, hiccups. <coughs> Just to um, give him even amounts of damage on all of his skills instead of just grouping into one. Uh, 
Pain is temporary. Victory is forever. Teach them to fear us. Break and fall. They will greet you as heroes. They are really good at using that bird as bots. There will be no <laughs> retreat. Well, that was a failure. <laughs> Whatever. I am as timeless as war. When he first came out, or when they first like released inf information about him, I was uh, pretty psyched about his uh, his passive. But it turns out the passive does have a cap amount of health that it gives you back. It doesn't give you infinite amount of health like I thought it did. Oh yeah, and his uh this passive for his W does not work on towers, so. Now we turn the tide. Well, I'm just gonna experiment with builds here and let you watch me. That's what bots are for, right? Build experimentation. If you play bots and I'm offending you at telling you how bad they are and how uh, noob you are if you play bots, please forgive me. But know that you really should play against people if you really want to consider yourself good at the game. Surpass the frailty of your form. Yeah. Let fear. Your W would save you a lot too in engagements. Like if you're going low health, 108 heal after you're lower on health is actually a pretty decent amount of heal. I am as timeless as war. Oh come on. That's why that's good. Good escape mechanism. They will greet you as heroes. Yeah, if they do kill me they're gonna run away and uh, not care about my passive body because they're bots and Peace they don't detect that. Yeah, so look at that health that I just gained back. You're in the jungle, no competition for uh, creeps. It'll definitely do fine. His ultimate is a lot like Kale's, or a lot like Kale's um, range boost. It gives you a large, uh, large range boost and attack speed boost. That's why I like to consider him like Kale because of the um, range that he gets. That and his, his, he looks a lot like Kale, or Kaylee, depends on how you want to call it. All right, well, we're gonna go back. And uh, buy Blade of the Rune King, or start building up to it because that's like kind of what you first want to get. Um, probably in lane, you probably want to get Vampire Acceptor and then straight to Ninja Tabi. Depends on who you're fighting, but since we're in bots, might as well just go straight to that. Oh, I do have enough for Ninja Tabi. All right, we'll buy it. Hesitation is death. He does have a uh, fast um, HP regeneration, like base. As you can see in the bottom it's going up by one, one other champions would be a lot slower. I know what lurks in the hearts of men. Well, bots are pretty boring to watch, aren't they? Should've just done an actual game. Killing spree. 
very good for last hitting. They will greet you. Very good for KSing heroes. too. For that kind of person. I could have just used that. Forgot about it. So you gotta be careful though, because when you use your um you lose 51 health. If you're lower than 51 health, you're like dead pretty much. Or that it doesn't let you use it, or one or the other. Rage against the dying of the light. But his attack speed's pretty fast too. I don't think that gives you attack speed. He already has 1.23. Oh, I have 20%, 22% attack speed with runes, that's why. The attack speed runes are pretty good with this guy. Rampage. Timeless yeah, so if you have attack speed runes, don't don't hesitate to uh, use them. They're pretty good. Right now I'm using um, seven damage quintessence from quintessences, twenty attack speed from uh, glyphs, and uh, magic resist quintessences as well. Pain is temporary. Victory Ultimate. Is uh, okay. AoE damage. Increase attack speed. No. Yeah, that was not smart behind the minions, but whatever. <laughs> that I'm not extremely fed yet either. So, uh, Blither and King. And then, uh, if you want, you can buy defensive items. That's probably what you want to do. If you're in the jungle, you want to buy Randuins or uh, Runic or something like that. But, um, I'm going to go straight for the Ravenous Hydra after I get the Blither and King. Well. If you get enough lifesteal, you don't even have to keep it in the lifesteal form. You can still do a lot of damage. I'm just going to pick X for more damage right now. Hesitation is death. Let's get the red buff so I can start roaming around and trying out ganks. Because I, I like jungling a lot. That's just what I do. I'm usually in the jungle. Bonus damage, 200 bonus damage. That's Peace a lot. Every third hit. The greatest lie of so, uh, yeah. We'll use this first and then heal up afterwards. Now we turn the tide. That wasn't that, that bad. <sighs> yeah, but he's really good in the jungle. Oh man, what was he doing? Just kidding. There will be no retreat. Shoot. Surpass the frailty of your enemy. Killing spree. You just have to manage your health well. I think it's going to be the toughest thing with this guy. Managing your health. Victory is forever. I am as timeless as war. For that to run out. Oh shoot! Oh, he used it. Whatever. Or be forgotten. 
unstoppable. Honor will not save them. Dominating. Break and fall. Well, bot Tarak maxes heal first, so. That's a little bit annoying. What's the random bots? Usually I have like all 80 carries with no stuns on their team, but it's more fun with more variety. Peace is the greatest. Ooh, we'll take this guy out. Pop my ult, but whatever. I didn't even get my auto attack off. That was. He would not have stunned me that fast. I would have got at least one auto attack. To... But, ah, uh, that was dumb. Whatever. Stupid. Mistakes. In bots. <laughs> the greed. The greed of bots. <sighs> yeah, but once he gets, um. If you get it, once you get a Hydra, which is, uh. Like. One Vampire Acceptor and then 300 more gold after you get the Tianma. He becomes like heavy AD Kale. And then if you want to go straight damage and be a carry for your team, like he might be good in the mid lane too. But if you want to go straight damage and get, be a good carry for your team, um, you can get the, uh, uh, what's it called? The Armor Penetration one. What am I thinking? The Last Whisper. What? Oh my god, I get that item all the time on Zed, so I should know. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can do some nice damage. Cut the courage from them. I know what lurks in the hearts of men. All right, well. I gotta get going. I have to get to uh, work. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little uh, playthrough of the skills. And uh, yeah. See you guys.